Nos County Talk, we are live. It's episode 118 of the Pavis Perspective. Um, still plenty to talk about this evening, even though there was no game last week. George, how are we doing? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. I mean, I only, I only got to Sheffield before I had to turn around on Saturday. So compared to some people, I'm not doing too bad. I'm not doing too bad. We'll get into that in a second then. So let's see who we've got with us this evening. We've got Paul, we've got Ian, Jane, uh, Alfie, Helen, John, Steve, Debbie, uh, Alex, Martin, who is a channel member, Royston, uh, Samuel, who's also a channel member, Nick, Len, David, plenty of you joining us, uh, Gerald, who's also a channel member as well. Um, yeah, quite a lot to discuss. As always, we are powered by Better Bytes Computer. You will have seen the logo at the start of the video with um, really high reviews. Um, Notts fan owned computer repair shop in Nottingham, as we say every single week. Quote the code Pavis Perspective, which is obviously the podcast you're currently watching. You get discounts on computer repairs or refurbished computers. Just give us a mention when you go in. And if you are listening back on Spotify, please do drop a five star review. But yeah, George, we, we thought we'd be sat here talking about a Bradford game and it's called off. Um, comments in here now saying lost £70 on train tickets. Um, yeah, not ideal and uh, very, very close to kickoff. I know you weren't going to the game, but what are your thoughts on it? Poor, poor from, uh, I think <clears throat> um, it's, it sort of happened to us a couple of times now, isn't it? And uh, to be honest with you, I, I didn't really think that we'd see much of this in League Two. To be, to be fair, we haven't seen much of it, but uh, the pitch has been bad for a while, hasn't it? The Bradford pitch, I, I've seen a lot of photos circulating online the last few weeks. Um, I mean, I think the referee's got there, seen the pitch, and, and done done an inspection, hasn't he? And thought it's not it's not playable, but I, I don't think I don't think it should have got to that point by the looks of it. No inspection needed, they said. Yeah, that's that's an awful call. Um, and, and like he's already sort of gone over to to do that from what is it an hour before kickoff? Disgusting. I think it was postponed at. Almost bang on 10 to 2. So 10 minutes from team news being announced. Um, and actually, do you know what's worse? Knott's tweeted that it was postponed before Bradford. Mm. Like, really, really poor. Um, Fraser says, no way that pitch was playable at 11. Um, Charlie, think we took five, six coaches that all got to the ground. <sighs> yeah, not, not, not good at all. Uh, lots of people... Rightfully annoyed that they lost money, especially on trains, non-refundable. Petrol, you know, I share petrol with two other fans heading up. So from, I got to Sheffield, it wasn't really a lot at all. <clears throat> um, but then it's been rescheduled and you've got to think, can you make that game? It's pretty close. It's in 12 days' time. Um, luckily, I can make it, but uh, one of the fans I was travelling with cannot make it now. So things like that, you know, looking forward to taking off new grounds, looking forward to doing away days. There you go. Um, look, yeah, had to pay an extra £100 to get home. Did see Scott Robinson on the platform, though. Win, in my opinion. Win, in my opinion. Uh, Ian says Bradford should foot the bill. Yeah, doesn't. Yeah, they get away with it, don't they? But I, I just don't see how at any point it was supposed to be on. Um, I could have told you that when I saw the post and I was sat downstairs in, in my living room that, that the pitch probably wasn't playable. I mean, and to yeah, to to put that picture up of a pitch that's in perfect condition. Yeah, did you see? It made me laugh. Uh, Notts fan responded to a Bradford fan with a picture of our pitch. Did you see that? And the mm. Bradford fan responded. So <clears throat> we obviously we, we put pictures of our pictures up, and the Notts fan sent the Bra a Bradford fan a picture, and the Bradford fan responded saying, "We can all take a picture of our pitch at the start of the season and post it, mate." To which he replied, "This is ours from Tuesday night against Sutton." <laughs> Um, made me laugh, made me laugh. Um, but not that we're bitter about it at all. Um, I mean, did we make the thumbnail to this video? Don't know. Did I accidentally put that image? Don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, I meant to put a picture of Jody Jones, but I accidentally posted the one of Bradford Pitch, but don't know. Life so, goes on. Life goes on. Uh, am I that bothered? Not really. I got home and just got a few jobs done and then. Probably saw not get the same amount of points as we would have got if the game was on anyway, uh, the way things are going. But no, no, yeah, 
someone, I mean, the, f the first comment on the video about half an hour before we went live, even all been a very boring week. It has. It has. I have never seen less put in our um, Notts County fan chat that we've got on Messenger. I've never seen less in it. There's no mm. nothing, nothing going on. I'll tell you what did go on there, George. A host of other games. And we're slipping, aren't we? Yeah. Here's my big question to you. Early on in the show, are you prepared for this? I'm not sure. It's pretty early on. Well, I'd like to expand on this on your decision. Okay. Are we out of the race for the playoffs? Seven points now behind. Is it is it all too much? No, I don't think so. I think uh th things have look uh, as well, it's it's been it's gonna have been two weeks since we've had a game on Saturday, isn't it? Um so you know you you sort of forget how bad it's been. I was just thinking then how like how bad it was uh after our last game. Um but look all, all it takes is a really good run now. Um it doesn't mean to sort of win every every one of our last games but it just it just does take that run that run of good wins uh good performances and just gain that confidence back because let's say you know we we pick up a few draws now and then you know our last like seven or eight games we, we go like and win them all or something like that imagine hitting that form as you go into the playoffs it would be good it would be good but do you know what like as much as we can do you know what we're sat here asking if we're optimistic about about getting in the playoffs. You wouldn't have believed this at Christmas. We're now behind Walsall, Morecambe, Gillingham, Crawley, Newport, Harrogate. Do we have games in hand over the majority of, uh, above us, though? Uh, we have two games in hand over a couple. We only have one game in hand over Walsall, who are seven points above us. We have one game in hand over Morecambe, who are seven points above us. So we can only cut it to four. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, that's within reach for sure. We've got plenty of games after to, to close that gap. It's just whether we've uh, we've got it in us to sort of turn turn the tides because you know recent weeks have been been dire, haven't they? Yeah, and that's the thing. It's not like we're going to we're trying to close the gap whilst we're in good form either. Mm. We're trying to claw any kind of form back. This weekend we could be as low as seventeenth. If we were to lose this weekend, speaking hypothetically, and we were to go ten points behind, would you say that's it? I would. I, I would just concede there. Ten points with ten points with only third would have thirty three left to play for. I don't know. I, I'd, I'd find it difficult to completely write it off. To be honest, I really, ten really would making up ten points. That's a lot of points. You're relying on teams dropping dropping points and is winning games. Yeah. Can't win any games at the minute. Let's look at our running. Wimbledon at home. Uh, a lot more optimistic playing those now. They've lost Al, Al Hamidi. Al Hamidi that's now now missing penalties at Ipswich. Uh big penalty miss that didn't cost them in the week. Crawley away. I thought Crawley would be relegated by now. They're above yeah. us. That's a horrible game on a Tuesday night. Accrington away, not easy. Bradford away, not easy. We have three away games because this Bradford rearrange fixture in seven days. Salford at home is not going to be easy. Swindon away is not going to be easy. MK Dons at home, horrible. Harrogate at home, not, not great. Warsaw away. Stockport at home. Oh, George, it's not looking good. Be it's really, really not. I mean, the final two are Colchester and Forest Green. One could be safe by the final two. One could be relegated. You know? I don't know. I'm trying to be optimistic, but I just can't feel it. I just can't feel it. I agree. I agree. It's uh, it's hard. How, what would you say your confidence level is that we would win the next two? We would not home Crawley away. 5%. 5%. Five percent, yeah. Wow. Win so the next look... two, Wait, mate. I remember going into that our last two games and we said we wanted four points from them. We got zero. I think we can win the next yeah. two. My no, confidence. I I, no, I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I think we can win the next two. I think we'll what do well. What would you say? Percentage wise. 
10 percent higher than me here's what i think i think we'll either get two points or three points that's what i'm saying both both probably wouldn't be good enough i mean i don't see any way we get six i can't see us getting four I can't. five got more chance of getting five than four if i'm being <laughs> honest with you <laughs> Uh, we could we could try and close the gap in those two and get seven as well. <laughs> so, you know, anything's possible in football. I just, I just, I'm really struggling now to be the optimistic fan I was, even back at the start of Feb. Like I really am. Struggling. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would be. I think. Uh, I, I, I think everyone's sort of feeling the same. Yeah, I think the bounce back has to happen now. And the only positive is, and we knew this when we were chasing Wrexham. The only real positive in that is we're not chasing a top three side which are going to be winning probably three out of their four games we're chasing a seventh seventh space side and barrow in sixth the rest are kind of gone in my opinion i don't think we're going to catch fifth place we're 14 no we're not oh my goodness yeah we are we're 14 points behind mk dons who were miles behind us yeah i saw uh, a couple of people saying Earlier, that the gutted we missed out on uh, Mike Williamson. Do you agree? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, wonders, George. Yeah, I know, but I I do think when you look at Knots' squad, the 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 stock was falling on it really. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, I think anyone would have struggled. A few fans saying, if, "When are we going to give some mugs away?" If not, get in the playoffs. We'll give. If not, win the playoffs. We'll give away twenty. Oh, Thomas, twenty We're on the budget the playoffs. If not, get into the playoffs. We'll give away five. We're gonna. I think we're gonna start selling them for the reasonable price of forty nine ninety nine. I think so, aren't we? Forty nine. Forty nine ninety nine. What's that for? The handle. All right. Eighty nine, and that that's us breaking even. <laughs> Just barefaced lying about the price of the mugs. Imagine giving away mugs that are forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Absolutely bankrupt. Oh. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna have to. Uh, it's a it's a shame. Made. It's a big shame because you know I'm thinking about performances. I remember Newport away. Um, what a feeling that was. You know, great performance. Uh, the, the the atmosphere in the away was amazing. Like the togetherness between uh, you know the squad and and the fans was was pretty good. You know there was the celebrations were unreal, and then you just sort of feel like yeah this this is it now. This is the this is the turning point. This is where we're gonna get go on and get a few wins, and then we just dropped right off after that, didn't we? It's bizarre, really. Mm. It is really poor. I mean Newport, you would you would never have said we wouldn't have picked up a win since the Newport game. I, th- I genuinely thought we were going into Exxon game to win that. And Maka scores in the first minute, you never know. Yeah, I mean, but, that, that's the annoying thing, isn't it? I suppose the performance was there, but... There's only so, yeah, there's only so many times you can say the performance is there, though, isn't there? Like, you, have, you have to get results. But I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of promising signs, and I don't know. It's it's football is such a difficult game, isn't it? It's such a difficult yeah. game. Yeah. What do you think to this? This is Corey's comment, George. I'm content with us not being promoted this year. I'm still over the moon that we're back in the football league where we belong and forever be riding that high. Let's build. Our day will come. I kind of like. I, I mean, if you'd have said that to me um, in December, I'd have probably thought, yeah, I get the essence of it, but where we can definitely achieve things this season. Yeah. But now, yeah, I'm I'm kind of in that boat for sure. Yeah. I mean, the worst possible thing after the four years we've had of something to play for it with almost every game left this season, the worst possible thing now would be to to finish the final eight games with nothing to play for. Mm-hmm. That would be awful because things like the stock of some of our players would fall, like Maka yeah. would just fall. Um because it means we're not playing well, they're not getting goals. We're not winning games. So, oh, here we go. Will's favourite. Oh. Do you oh, not just think it's about enjoying the ride? No, Will. Will said this, right? 
So for those that watch the channel regularly, you know who Will is. Will's been on this quite a few times. Good lad. But after the Colchester game, he said, just enjoy the ride. And it's stuck with us since. The Colchester game where we lost 5-4 away from home. And Aidan Stone passed the ball to their striker to open the scoring. Will, just enjoy the ride. Be quiet. Do me a favour. Be Do quiet. Me a favor. Why are we enjoying the ride, are we, at the minute? Um and I do think, with the complaints of fans, I do think it's relative. Like, we've got the right to complain because our performances have dropped. We don't compare ourselves to any other team. We're not as fans. Like, we could, like I said last week or the week before, we don't compare ourselves to Torquay, who are in a bad situation. We don't compare ourselves to, you know, Forest Green. It's the not situation has worsened. You'd be silly to be sat here now thinking everything's great. Like, do you know what? I, I do really agree with what um, what Corey said. Like at the end of the day, we're going to be a League Two team next year, and we can build. That's, well, that's, that's just saying. Uh, here we go. Only joking. I agree. Sutton is not as joy was not enjoyable one bit. He's seen the light. He's seen the light, and I I agree with that. Um, I, George, was he, cr well, he was crying at the end of the game, wasn't he? Will? Will crying at the end of Sutton? Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was really yeah, upset. I thought he was. Yeah. Um, because that, that's, that's Harry right. Smith has waved at him, waved at him like that. Mm. Waved at him. Um, George, we talked about the poll question today because it's quite a big, big one, quite a big debate. One. It's caused yeah, a bit, it's... Of, uh, a bit of anxiety, a bit of angst. Yeah, well, there's one of these I don't even know was was available. Uh, on, so we've got mushy peas, curry sauce, gravy, or beans. What are you choosing from the chip shop? Have you voted? Yeah, I have, but it's difficult. It was difficult. I've got a clear, I've got a clear bottom. A clear third, my top two. No, no, I've got fourth to first. Which one did you not know was available? Beans. I don't know if you've got beans at the chip shop. What should you get beans at the chip shop? Baked beans. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I'm really 100% sure you can get baked beans at the chip shop. Mm, I'm not sure. Here we go. Mickey, gravy is the only answer. Someone, Indica says peas are the worst. I'm not, I'm not putting mine in. There you go, James. Bang on with that. What a top comment that is. And I would, I would tend to agree. Um, I would tend to agree with that one. It is very, very healthy. Um, chips. Yeah, chips w weren't on the poll. Yeah, I know, but this is to go with your chips. I won't just. I'll go in and say, can I have a pot of mushy peas? <laughs> Callum says, next vlog, let's get some beans. Do you know what? Very quick story here, right? Um, we went to Morecambe and nearly missed kickoff because Will wanted to go and get some fish and chips because he said it was traditional after he'd spent a fiver on the uh, on the two p machines. It looked <laughs> the only way I can describe what he had. It looked rotten. <laughs> it was terrible fish and chips. And he'll put a comment in here. It was it was dire. The fish and chips were exceptionally poor. Awful, awful. Um, well, should we have a bit of a laugh, George? And then people can tell us. People can tell us who's won at the end. I know we're not at the end of the season, right? But here we go. This is what we did at the start of the season. There's some shockers in here. Let's go through them pretty quickly. Go on. Tell us at the end if if I'm on course to, to, to win or George is on course. So, oh dear. Oh dear. But we weren't alone in both predicting Crawley to finish bottom of the league. Almost every other YouTube channel predicted Crawley bottom of the league. So, there we go. 23rd place. Who did we have going down with Crawley? You won't think that. Yeah, it's not bad, that. You've had a stink, haven't you? I'm, I reckon I'm there with that. What do you mean you're there? They're above knots. I know, exactly. About I've, got, I've got Colchester 23rd. They're currently 22nd and being caught up by Forest Green. That's solid for me. Solid. So far, I'm winning. Here we go. 22nd. Who do we have? Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Eighth place, Morecambe, who have currently, who have currently lost one in about nine games. We've got to finish 22nd. Oh, my goodness. It's not over yet, Tom. It's not. Right. 21st. Who do we have? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Tom, that's embarrassing. Oh, dear. We've got Barrow, who are currently sat in sixth. 
Notts haven't beaten them this season. We said we'd finish 21st. To be fair, I said they'd finish 21st, one point off top three. So, <laughs> I'm almost yeah. there. That's, that's a, we can't get worse than that. We can't get worse than that. Right, 20th. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Right. Not bad from you. Not bad at all. Visionary I am. Poor from me. 19th. It's getting a bit bit nervy here. Okay. We'll, we'll gloss over that. We're pretty much the same with that one. 18th. Oh, George. Oh, Tom. I mean, we haven't seen Forest Green from me yet. Where have I got? I've, I've got crew in 18. <laughs> oh, dear. <clears throat> okay. To put into context, crew are currently fourth, two points off automatics. Chris says there's no winners in this game currently looking at it. I I agree. There aren't any winners. But can I can I get a bit of a comeback? <sighs> yeah. Oh yo, that's close. Ooh. Accrington's close, Forest Green way off. 16th. I think that's all right from both of us. Not too bad. You never know. They're in 12th, but they're only they're three. 12th, you never know. 16th. Yeah, here we go. That's all right. You copy me on all right. those two. I mean, they're in seventh at the minute, but you never know. You we'll never, it. ever know. I'm nervous here. Fourteenth. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad. It's not bad. But we haven't got any right so far. Thirteenth. That's bad for me. Why? They're tenth. Oh, yeah, of course they are, yeah. I was looking at, yeah. They're 10th. I've got Accrington, who are currently 16th in there. 12th, poor from me. Poor from me. I think you're slightly in the lead at the minute, you know. I think I'm winning. Yeah. Only I think slightly. I've won. May as well end it now. 11th. Poor from yeah. you. Miles out. Really poor from you. Miles not, out. Not so too bad from me. 10th. Poor from both of us there, really. 19th and 18th. Yeah. I mean, how far are they off 10th? They're a good 11 points. Yeah, we're getting to the business end now, aren't we? Here yeah. we go. 9th. Oh, dear, Tom. Ooh, oh, dear. That's What's really happened? poor for me. But am I right in thinking I haven't seen Grimsby yet in yours? <laughs> no, I've already put them in. <laughs> have you? Yeah. I don't think you have. I that's think fourth, I've put them in 18th. 8th. Oh dear, <laughs> Tom! Oh dear! First place, Mansfield sat in eighth on mine. Um, so only eleven places out with Salford. Here we go. Not too bad. Playoff places. Not bad. I don't not, think. Not bad. Sixth. Yeah, that's George, good for me. That's, that's good superb for me. from you. That is. <laughs> You know what? I'm not even joking, right? I'm not joking. They're only 22 points off that. They're, they're, yeah, that's what I mean. They're only 15 places away from that. That's you know, not I just like Grimsby right now. They're flying. <laughs> Don't be like that. They're flying. No, honestly, they, they, there's a big chance they could finish sixth. I'm just looking now. They've won one in 10. <laughs> that sounds all too familiar, that one. They put five past knots, though. So, I mean, sixth place Bradford. What are we saying about that? Is that good for me? No, it's not, is it? It's fifth place. Me. Oh, my goodness. Look at my fifth place team. Oh, my goodness. Look at my fifth place team. They're actually fifth place. I'm winning this. Uh, that is horrendous for me. Let's go. I've won that, this. That's, who's worse? Your sixth place Grimsby or my fifth place? Doncaster. Definitely yours. Definitely yours. Definitely yours. I like that. No, it's, it's, literally, it's exactly the same. Grimsby are frying, not flying. George, that's a good pick from you. Fourth place, here we go, business end. That's all right. That's all right. It's not too bad. That's not too bad. Yeah, that's okay. Here we go, third place. Stinker from me, this one. Third place. Oh, what oh, they doing? Dear. <laughs> Goodness me. Gee, the, the sunlight was in our eyes there, mate, from the playoff you're final. Se- you're ready for second place? Yeah. Oh, what is that from you? <laughs> what class. on earth is that that's bravery me? mate that is pure bravery I, I, to be honest with you I think 
the pitch has probably played a big part in that. So that one's not my fault. Do you know what? Do you know what, at the minute, right? Do you know Bradford? They're flying. They're flying as well. They're flying. They're flying. I'm just having a look here. 63 points. They're only 16 off second place. That's not bad. It's, it's 30, doable. It's doable, isn't it? There's 33 left to play for. There's 30. There's 36 left to play for here. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. And then uh, for some reason it won't show first place, but we both had Stockport first place, which is okay. I think Let us know. Probably, I, th- I think that's pretty close, that is. I think I know who's... I think I think you've just got it over me there, personally. Oh, I right. mean, Bradford's a shocking shot, though. Bradford's horrendous. That's horrendous. Imagine being a Knots horrendous. fan. That's probably... The, yeah, that's probably... The, yeah. That, is, that is diabolical for me. But it's that's more or less you. That's more or less the same thing. It is because they're one place, one yeah. yeah. But that is shocking. <laughs> right, let us know who 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 do you have as that's shocking. Who do you have as the winner there? They're eighty-two <laughs> points off second place. Who do you have? Me or George as the winner in that? There's still time to go. Um, I think I've won that. I got to be honest. I've won you know the floor with you. You know what's just very poor for me, and I'm going to go back to it. That is exceptionally poor. Look, we've got a Tom wins. We've got a George is the winner. On what front does Tom win? Explain Not yourself. On this front, yeah. <laughs> Another one for me. Also, look how poor those two are. Yeah, that's because you started copying me. Mickey said you won. That is shocking from you. Look at that from me. I told, I said it. Go back to the video. I said their squad age is too young. They're too young. Oh, no. More people saying you've won. More people saying you've won. Look at that and tell me George has won. No way. No way. I think the real winner is both of us for this. That's the real winner. Yeah. And you know what? You know what? Sutton could easily make up 23 points on on Crawley with the final games to go. And I agree with Corey. The real winner is friends we made along the way. You only agree with that because you know you're lost. And you're on borrowed time. Indica, Tom has less good picks, but George has more bad picks. Tom takes it. I've won. I've won. Have I got a trophy to lift? I haven't, but I've won. Just on percentages, really. Yeah. I'd love to actually work out how far apart we will be at the end because there's no, there's not going to be many big swings from anyone apart from the middle of the pack really now I don't think like we should, teams try, and, that, we should try and score it somehow yeah so we'll do it from for, we'll, we'll score at the end of the season with di- like we'll add up the the distance between the places we predicted and then the lowest score is obviously the winner we'll do that yeah. Martin George is romping home with this absolutely not great word no 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 it's a great no, word no, no. no. Not having that. Not having that. I, I think. I think we've had some. We've had some really poor ones there. Uh, we, it'd be good to look back on the national league ones that season, wouldn't it? Mm. That'd be a good one. We got the top three. But anyway, it does go show how unpredictable this league is. And if there's any other fans there, or any fans you know of other sides in there that we've predicted to finish like really far down or bottom, tag them in the video. Go and find the video. It's uh, it's our AFL predictions. My money's on George. Have you paid people? I've I, I've not. I've not. I've not. Are you sure? I've not. How much? I've not. Really if cool. if I was, I'd probably like maybe like a mug or something like Look that. Look at this comment here. Cheers for the fiver, my old pal. Oh well, yeah, that, that won't for this though. Someone's asked for a mug here, mug one. <laughs> so you've obviously been paying people or offering a mug competition. I don't know. I don't know. Right. That's kind of I was reading these comments. That, that's that's kind of shown how far off we are. Does it show from man of your perspective, George, blind optimism at the start of the season? Or did we have a right to put knots third? No, I think it shows complete lack lack of understanding of the game, to be honest with you, for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> well, complete lack of understanding. Complete lack of understanding. No, I think I think from from, from mine and yours perspective, obviously, we've seen knots. And Wrexham go toe to toe, break records. Like we were so 
we, we literally never really saw Notts lose last season. What was it? Three losses all season. Yeah. In Dorking, the in Dorking, Dagen and Wrexham. Yeah. Who who really was expecting to come up here and lose as many times as we have? I know we knew it was going to be more difficult. Um, but we've conceded so, so many goals, haven't we? Too many. Far too many. 66 goals conceded. Who's conceded more? Sutton and Salford have conceded the same amount. That's it. Poor, isn't it? Mm. Someone had made a great point on social media this week. They said, has any team ever scored and conceded the most in the league? Because we're on for that at the minute. We've, we're have we joint top scorers along with Mansfield. For that. Yeah. Going back to that prediction then, because obviously we were quite quite close to some of them. Who do you see? Who do you see the, the four teams being promoted right now? I think Mansfield will be. As champions? Yeah, I think Wrexham probably will be. I think MK Dons will be automatic. I think Stockport will slip out of the, the, the top three. Really? Yeah. There's only two, there's, there's two teams realistically that, that are going to cut, three maybe. Barrow, MK Dons, crew, who replaces them? MK Dons. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think it'll so. be Mansfield, Rex, and uh, MK Dons. Top I think I think MK Dons get top three, but I don't think it'll be at the expense of Stockport. I think it'll be Mansfield, Stockport, MK Dons top three. Yeah. Um, and who makes the playoff? Who wins the playoffs? Yeah. Like, I, you, I know we, it's hard to not, say in it at the minute. I can't say not. Who yeah. who for you wins the playoffs? There's crew. Look at the Stop, teams that Stockport are on a stinking run, you know. Yeah, I know they're not doing very well. Three one to the crew lost four 0 to Tranmere. The last two games have been nil nil. Like they're not on a very good run at all. They haven't scored in three, and mm. they've they've scored one in four. Winless. They've won one in six. And that was against Grimsby, who we've already established are absolutely flying, flying. But that's the annoying thing. Do you know what's going to happen when we play Stockport? Because because we would have played them bang in the middle of that awful run of form. Not bang in the middle, but they weren't doing that well then. Yeah. And you know what's going to happen, don't you, when they come to Medellin? Lane? They're going to be right back. They'll be thriving. Uh, thriving, flying. The lot. You know, the lot. Kyle uh, Wall, 91st minute. Yeah. So do you not even think they win the playoffs? I don't know. I think I think for Stockport to be in the playoffs again, I think it not the stuff in Ivan, to be honest. Do you? Yeah, they lost it last season, didn't they, in the playoffs? Um, to have the confidence to get automatic again, be you know in the top three for so long, and then you know fall out of that. Yeah, could not the stuff in out of a, a team, you know. I don't think Barrow win the playoffs. I don't think Crew win the playoffs. I think I think I'm going to make a bold prediction here. I only see two teams winning the playoffs in my prediction. It's either Wrexham, who we know can do it in the big games. And I know this is giving me a 50% chance. It's either Wrexham or it's the team that come in seventh place. So, Gillingham, Wimbledon, maybe Notts. I don't know. Like you say, if Notts were to get playoffs now, they'd finish in amazing form. So, you never know. I just don't think we have a defence to win a game over two legs against possibly Wrexham or or MK Dons or Barrow. We we don't. Yeah. I don't I don't think we have it. I, I don't know. You said to me a few weeks ago you think we could beat Barrow over two legs. Yeah, I think we could. For what what reason? Just for a good matchup. Yeah. I think their manager would get sent off in the first game, second game. Is what has. It's all would I you think. run down the steps and give him a bit of abuse? A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's see what people are saying. Mansfield, Stockport and MK Don's autos. Crew playoffs. I just can't see Crew winning the playoffs, but they are a good side, aren't they? They are actually a good side. Um, let's see. Mansfield, Stockport, MK Don's. Barrow for playoffs. Got a Wrexham fan in here. Phil, thanks for joining us, Phil. As a Wrexham fan, I think your lack of signings, especially at the back um, mid-season and loss of Williams. I still think you have a bounce back, though. I don't think the loss of Williams was that that great in hindsight. I think we'd be roughly in the same position. I really don't think it's that much of a loss. I think Williams knew what was happening at the club and knew what trajectory we were on, and he just went for it. I think he's kind of slowly turned it around with Swansea, isn't he? 
yeah. very, very slowly. But I just think with knots, there was one way this season was going to sort of go. I'm going to put a few scenarios in your head, George, for Saturday. Okay. Uh, here's my scenarios. Go on. Notch three, Wimbledon nil. Talk to me about that. Booze at full time. Notch three, Wimbledon nil. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, a few a few cheers at full time. Do you know what? Do you know if we won, you'd sort of think, like, it'd be good in that moment, but then you sort of think, can, can we continue to win? Yeah. That would be my concern because, um, look, at win, win's great, but it's on, on to the next game as soon as you've done it, isn't it? Um, it'd definitely do a lot for, for confidence for everybody. Um, fans, players, staff. But I, I can't see it. Here's my next scenario. Not one, Wimbledon one. Um, Playoffs gone. Mm, slipping away. Here's my final one. Knots one, Wimbledon four. Booze at full time. A few swear which, words. Which kind? Not swear words. Booze or uh, booze. I'll, I'll let you decide. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you. Four one. Is Maynard under its incredible pressure to be sacked or not? Four four one Wimbledon. I don't know, to be honest. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We've not really seen. We've not really seen how far these owners will, will be pushed to to sack a manager. I, I suppose under Ardley, but but you know what? Under Ardley, it wasn't. I, it wasn't that bad under Ardley. Yeah, but the, the style it had was gone. Bad. Oh yeah, the, yeah. He was just chucking on subs at the end, and we were getting results with Ruben doing magic. Yeah, and it was. Yeah, the the style had gone, and the the way that the the owners wanted us to play had, had sort of gone. So I don't know. Like the honest answer is, no one knows. Do you know what I mean? We, we don't really know. Okay, let me give you one more scenario then, and tell me if Maynard will be under serious serious pressure, as in like fighting for his job. Knots one, Wimbledon four. Mm -hmm. Tuesday night, Crawley two, Knots nil. Yeah, yeah, you definitely, you definitely sort of think that way, wouldn't you? I'd, I'd say that could be it. Really, you think he could be sacked if he loses two, two games? Two, yeah, two losses with, two losses with absolutely no, like poor, poor performances as well. Two losses. Genuinely, if results went, went that way, two losses could see us. Near enough eighteen. Yeah, I can't help but feel like he's been sold sold a little bit though. You know, you know, because he's not in control of recruitment. Um, no, no one's going to be. Yeah, a hundred percent. But you look at our recruitment this January; it was odd, very, very odd. We signed a, an injury, a very injury prone midfielder on loan. Um, you know, we got we got Jaden Warner in, didn't we? He, you know, looks decent, but. I don't. I don't think he offers much new. Even though we were sort of promised, you know, this championship level defender. I don't think we've really seen him at his full potential yet. And the one that does me is 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 Jata. Why? In what way? I'm not. I'm not saying he looks poor. You know, he, he could turn out to be amazing. Um. But why couldn't we spend that money on a defender? That's that's my that's my thinking. Like at the time, I kind of got caught up in it, thinking, "Oh, yeah, this is going to be, you know, really interesting signing." But then, when you zoom out, we we didn't need a striker. No. You know, we've got Kedwin coming back in what the next week or two. We've got another option up front coming back, and you know, he, he adds another dimension. But oh, I, I don't know. Is it was that dimension needed more than a defender? I don't think it was. I think we could we we really should have spent that money on bringing in a defender, but. Yeah, you know what? I can't disagree with you. Nothing against Jatta and what we've seen so far, but it wasn't a priority. And people say well, we had no backup. But like you say, I don't know. He's been used for like four, like 50 minutes, 60 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah. Next season, right? 30 goals combined. No, 40, 40 goals combined, Jatta and Kedwin. We've spent all the Mac money on a defender and a keeper. 
There we go. I've said it. I've told you. Right, let's go for our lineup then. We'll just go for our lineup for Saturday. Sam Slocum in goal. No. Ashby Hammond. I'm not going to change it. Do you know why? Yeah, some, someone's just said here, keeper's a bigger problem. I agree. I, I think, you know, in terms of a keeper, we've, we've really struggled pretty much since Patterson. I also don't think I said this last time, but go right back to the crew game when Ashby Hammond's beating at his near pose. That's shocking goalkeeping. That's we've, so awful. We've seen it from all of our options, haven't we? Yeah, every single one. Do you know what? Who I don't think that actually has an issue of shot stopping is Sam Slocum. But we can't play the way we want to under anyone else. Like with a, <clears throat> We can't play with him in goal that style we want to. But is that a bad thing? Uh, what are we talking about? Sam Slocum's not going to be in goal Saturday, is he? No. So... Who's in goal then? I'm just going to Ashby Hammond. I don't know, actually. Ashby Hammond... Oh, Will saying that Archie Mayer pulled off some world is. I'm all co- yeah, I know. He should have been brought back in, let's be honest. And hindsight's great, but... Back four or back five, George? I can't back watch four. another game. I can't watch another game of back five. Okay. It, it's awful. It's so poor. I go... Macari right back. Yeah. Baldwin. Is Warner injured? I haven't had an opportunity to listen to the presser, but he, he went off injured, didn't he? Yeah, let's say he's not. Warner, Baldwin and Cameron at left back. Yeah, agreed. Uh, midfield, two. Yeah, Robertson, obviously. And then... I'm bringing Bostock back in. Okay. Um, and then Crowley, Jody. If Did's still in? If Did's still injured, we, I go Aaron the man, pace okay. on both wings, and then back, <laughs> up, yeah. back up top. What are you saying? I agree. No, Sam Austin. I yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him, but. I think you know the options we've got are also pretty good. You never know. This this break could have been perfect for Knots to like completely reset. You actually never know. One more question before we go for our score predictions and, and go to the poll question is Charlie says Brooks number one next season. Yes. For me? I don't know. Would you rather, right? So would you rather Brook, Brooks in goal and then don't spend money on the goalkeeping positions but strengthen the rest of the squad or strengthen heavily in goal and then strengthen less of the rest of the squad? Strengthen heavily in goal. Really? I have changed my opinion on this as well. I know people are probably thinking, <clears throat> well, he said the opposite, but <clears throat> I think, I'd, I feel like he, sh- he should have worked his way into the, the squad by now. What? In, in saying that though, we've seen performances from players and then we're thinking, you know, why they're not starting. It's, I think it's just a bit of a risk. You know, he's, a young, he's a young footballer. Yeah, I mean, there is that affinity with Mintley because he is, you know, he's he's one of my own. But I, I, I don't know. It's the impossible question, isn't it? I, to be honest, I've not seen much of him play when he's been out on loan, so it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. i am just say yes, just for the sake of it. There we go. <laughs> Um, and and then I mean this is make or break for me. L- lose on Saturday and the season is. I will say it here, and I'll be made to look a fool if needs be. But if we lose on Saturday, playoffs is completely done. Too much to make make back. Yeah, too much. Will's right. Boston Court Rochdale next logical step is League Two. That's very true. Will, very true. Just enjoy the ride. You know what I mean? You have to. Yeah. Right, George. Poll question before we do our score prediction. Right. This is a big one this week. So we've had 112 votes on this one. Um, so the question is, what are you choosing from the chip shop? Mushy peas, that's 47%. Curry sauce, 24%. Gravy, 21%. Beans, 7%. Um, obviously, mushy peas win. Beans lose. Beans definitely lose because it doesn't actually exist in a chip shop. It does. It fully does. It you do- can get beans at the chip shop. There's no way. What chip shop are you going to? Have you ever been to a chip shop? 
Yeah, probably been with of you. Course, of course you can get beans. Okay. Ring one up now on here. I'm not doing that. There's I'm definitely not doing, beans. I'm not doing that for your entertainment, Tom. Stop prayer pressuring me. Hang on. There's a pit. I've got a picture here. I don't want to see it. Here we go. What is it? Lunchtime specials. From where? Burton Joyce Chip Shop. Right. Here we go. Mini fish chips with choice of peas, curry, gravy, beans. That's Burton Joyce, though. What's that say there? Gravy beans. What's a gravy bean? Hang about. What well, can't get it on? Can't get it on the screen. What there you, you go. <laughs> For those of you that listen on Spotify and are wondering what kind of in-depth analysis we're giving, I'm showing George. Tom's holding a, up a picture uh, of himself. No, it's a picture of a of a chip shop menu. Beans, hundred percent, hundred percent. Give him, give someone a call now. I'm gonna have a look. I, I'm, I'm gonna have a look because okay. one, if he was to do like a you know a really good trial on this, it'd be at least three different chip shops. Never seen beans in a chippy. Beans is always last choice selection for a reason. Yes, it is, Dan, but it's there. Carl, my chippy can get beans. Thank you. Thank you. Right, here we go then. Let's have a look. Be be honest as well, because I'm not having you messing about. <laughs> Side orders. Here we go. I'm on, I'm on the edge of my seat here. This is first class <laughs> podcasting. First class. They're oh, not yeah. there. Yeah, beans aren't there. They are. Beans are a thing at a chippy. Be beans aren't there. Oh, Be no, pot of beans. Yeah, it is there. Sorry. There yeah. you go. There we go. Anyway, Who, what did you vote for? Yeah, but what, what kind of what kind of full-grown adult wants beans from a fish and chip shop? I don't want beans from a chip shop. I've not voted. Why'd you put it in there, then? I'm, I'm angry. It's an option. Right, what did you vote? Right, what did I vote? Mushy peas. Fair enough. They're my number two. What did you vote? Gravy. Gravy Ooh. on chips. Love that. Curry sauce would have been my second. Uh, Chris just sent you a screenshot of my chippy on X showing beans. Uh, honestly, what other, what other podcast do you get this? We've got people sending screenshots of local chippies. Yeah. Here we go. Exactly. Glenn, been eating beans from the chippy since the 70s. I don't, you're going to have to show me video footage because I don't believe you. <laughs> Do you have like, yeah, do you have some kind of video footage? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The football you sounded like, dodgy then. The, fo the football content awards come round every October, right? Please, <laughs> someone, video? someone send this this episode into the football content awards. We've got we've got over 100 people watching on uh, on Twitter and over 150, up to 150 people watching on, on YouTube. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to reply to our tweet with as many pictures of chip what shop beans. What kind of question is that from work? Possible. Are the fish and chip shop beans like Heinz or are they special? <laughs> what does that mean? Know. Right, please. We want at least 20 pictures of chip shop menus with beans. We want them all to be different. Whoa, Carl, can you calm down? My chips rise onion and mushroom gravy. We're not that in depth. We're just getting on to the Heinz debate. Right, George, score prediction. Um, Dan, gonna... Sorry, Dan said, how's Notts County season going? That good, we're more bothered about beans. Here we go. Here we go. Playoffs is done. Get the, get the Heinz in. Um, Whoever sends the first picture on X, oh, well, X, why have I said that? On Twitter, by the way, of, of beans. Oh my god, they actually all do beans. I'm I'm looking on Just Eat now. They literally all do beans. All the Chris has shop. sent us one. Chris has sent us one. Baked beans is top of the list. That's it's, mad. It's I've literally lived my adult life it. thinking it was just mushy peas, gravy, and curry sauce. Genuinely. That's blowing me away. What on earth is this? Helen, I cannot get off the subject. Helen said, I've been having a bean mix since the 60s. What's that? <laughs> What's a bean mix? <laughs> What's a bean mix? Is that like Will's nightmare where we've got like some Heinz, some own brand beans in there? Or oh, they're this just is insane. What's a this bean mix? Insane. Right, come on, score prediction. This is getting silly now. It's not. It's brilliant. It's getting silly. It's cutting edge. I'm saying one one. 
I can't predict a win. I cannot predict a win. I'm going 2 0. I am. What, 2 0. 2 0. I'm going f- I'm going to be less specific. 15th minute Jatta. 90 plus 5 Hines. I am. 90 plus 5. There we go. Um, get your score predictions in then. We've got a 2 1 knots here. Ooh. We've got a knots 2, Wimbledon 1, and Crawley 1, knots 3. I'd love that. Um, we've I'm got blown a away here. I genuinely can't believe it. We've got a uh, Dansport County nil beans three. Literally all all of them sell beans. It's three nil last. I told you, I told you. We've got a three two. <laughs> You're the only person that's gone on these these uh, chip shop sites in the past like three years. <laughs> they don't even exist. Peace three beans nil. Very very sensible. Um, we've got a three two knots. We've got six nil chicks and hat trick jatter hat trick. We've got a three one. We've got a two one knots. Um, We've got 1 1. We've got 5 0 Wimbledon. Please no. Uh, Cam says he's found one without beans. Don't believe you. Um, Unbelievable. The score predictions are literally, George, the score predictions are literally half knots, half beans. We've actually gained viewers. We've gained viewers on this conversation. It's We've got a, a 2 1 knots view Wimbledon, 2 0 against Crawley. I put a few more in there. Uh, 3 1, Jaffa to get his first. 1 0 knots will do. If knots win, let's have a fish supper and a chip shop. Without beans isn't a chip shop. We'll leave it on that one. Honestly, cutting edge. Cutting every edge. Day, every day is a school day, Tom. Every day is a school it, day. It fully is. It fully is. Talking United reacts. Hello, boys. Sorry I'm late. You've missed Rewind the, good the last one. six You've minutes. Missed a good one. Yeah. Six minutes. Okay. Rename the channel of Heinz Perspective. As many people send us chip shop, um, chip shop menus as possible, please. It, it, bonus to anyone if they've got like a chip shop pamphlet at the house, like a leaflet, because that is dedication, dedication. Um, safe travels to everyone going to the game uh, on Saturday, but also the long trip south of London on uh, on Tuesday night against Crawley. We can only hope we come back here with six points, but being realistic, we're not feeling too confident. Um, there will be a vlog after the game, obviously, um, pretty close to full time. You know, I'm, I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible, and uh, and so is George. But at the minute, there's not that much to shout about. Uh, if you are a channel member, as your name is scroll on the bottom, thank you so much for supporting us. It does mean a lot. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new or you enjoyed the bean chat. And, uh, yeah, drop us a like because it helps us out massively. And we will see you next Thursday for more cutting-edge, in-depth Notts County talk. <laughs>